My 31M wife 30F had SX with an XBF. The wound is still fresh as this happened this happened Memorial Day weekend, and I found out about it just two days ago. Be warned, this may be a bit on the long side. My friend I'm currently crashing on the couch have directed me to this sub as a place to vent and get insight on my situation. My wife Mary and I have been together six years, married for four of them. We met at the tail end of our time in college. She had months prior gotten out of a relationship whereas I have never been in an actual relationship to that point, I was a player, or a duck boy as they call them these days. I admit that in my later teens well into my 20s before I met her, I played the field. When we started dating officially, she knew well of my body count because a couple of associates were among the numbers. She's only had two sexual partners aside from me, the guy she dated in college for two years before she met me, and her HS boyfriend Nate, who happens to be the guy she cheated on me with. I'll spare you the life story of our marriage. We have no kids. We both are professionals and live in an apartment here in New York. There have been zero hiccups in our relationship. Just the usual spats married couples have. There's been no lack of intimacy, affection or communication. This is why I'm so absolutely blindsided by this. The last couple of weeks Mary had been acting strange. She was being a lot more clingy and lovey-dovey with me than normal. She's always been an attentive woman, but it felt like she was going out of her way the last couple weeks. And it also seemed as if there was something eating her up inside, but when I asked if something was wrong she'd say it was nothing. I now know that as was anything but nothing. Two days ago, Mary comes to me as I'm doing my evening workout and says she has something to tell me. I ask what, and she drops a nuke on me. She had SX with Nate at her parents' Memorial Day shindig in her hometown, Metuchen NJ. They have this event every year, and this year I was unable to go because I had other obligations to tend to regarding my business. Turns out Nate had returned to the East Coast after being over in Japan for decades. From what she's told me about Nate, he was a military baby, and the reason they broke up is because his father ended up on a four-year deployment to Okinawa. This was told to me early in our relationship. Nate apparently stayed in Japan for years after, and has recently returned to the US. Long story short, as she says, there was alcohol and lots of conversation of the old times. Old feelings flared up, and by evening's end she ended up back at his place where they had SX. I'm usually a calm, level-headed guy, but I admit I lost my sheet. It took all I could muster not to throw her out of a window. I cursed her 50 ways to Sunday and stormed out of our apartment. I didn't even bother packing anything, I just left. She tried to beg and plead for me not to go, and made an attempt to block my way to the door, but I shoved her out of the way and slammed the door behind me. In hindsight I know that's probably going to cost me, but it is what it is. Like I said, this went down two days ago and I'm presently typing this from my friend's apartment. She knows I'm here, as my friend had returned to my apartment to gather some things for me. I've completely cut contact with her, as I'm in no mental state to hear anything she has to say. So Reddit, is my marriage over? I love her with every ounce of my soul. I'd go throw hell and high water for her. But this? I can't shake this. To her credit she at least admitted to cheating on her own accord, but to all of a sudden have tingles for your first boyfriend and duck him the first day you reunite with him? Is this karma for me being a womanizer when I was young? I'm just lost, confused, hurt and angry right now. How do I cope with this? There's a lot of comments that have been made that I don't think I'll be able to respond to all, but I want to clear up a couple of the major points. First off, regarding a post nupt, I made that comment not in a right frame of mind. In all likelihood it won't be needed. While my state of New York is notoriously bad for men regarding divorce, if in fact I do decide to go that route I know Mary will not take me to the cleaners. Despite what a lot of you may think of her given the circumstances, she is not a vindictive or spiteful woman. I know a lot of you are going to fight me on that, 
but she's not. The next thing I want to address is the idea that this was premeditated. Today, I went over the data records on my cell phone plan and I can confirm that the first time they communicated May 27th, two days before the event. There is zero communication between the two before that point, and a few texts from Nate following, that Mary never responded to. The last time he attempted to reach her was June 10th. So you can take the theory that they plan this months in advance or have been hooking up for months and throw it out of the window. Lastly, I've taken the time over the last day to think to myself with insight for my friend what I should do next, and the next immediate move I've decided to make on the matter is get time away from all of this. I need to sort things out, so I'm taking a step back from interactions, including social media. I will post an update once I've sourced things out. To everyone who has given me good, solid advice I thank you. For everyone who has projected their own misgivings and toxicity of their own circumstances upon my situation, maybe you need to disconnect from social media as well. No kids. Short marriage. You are still young and fit. Get out now clean with no alimony or child support. No ties that bind. It's not your fault. Upvote 1 million times over. It will hurt now for a short time but worth it in the long run. One thing to consider is that, after only four years of marriage, it's highly unlikely that you'll be on the hook for any alimony. No children equals no child support. And since cheating is an absolute deal breaker for me, I would be gone. If you stay, you run the risk of it happening again, except in the future, there is likely to be children and other factors preventing a simple divorce. Let's be honest there's like 95% that she knew he was going to be there. They didn't break up because of not liking each other it was because of distance. She knew what going to his apartment meant they could have stayed at her parents and she's blaming alcohol I don't think this will work because she's taking no responsibility. I'm kind of on the same boat there. I mean, I had no idea he would even be there and if I did know I would have certainly changed my plans for opening up my business that weekend. I own an outdoor slash camping gear shop that I had to close up for 9 months due to COVID. Restrictions had started being lifted here in NYC at the time, and Memorial Day weekend was the first time in as much time that I was actually able to open up shop, make a little money. Had I known her long lost ex was going to be there. I would have put that on hold specifically for the bad juju of this scenario playing out. I plan on addressing this whenever it is I can muster the stomach to speak to her again. If cheating is an unforgivable offense for you, you don't need much advice from us. Go find an attorney and start the divorce. If you are considering reconciliation, I have to tell you that I do not believe the story you recite. She has sx with this old boyfriend upon the first encounter with him? Ah, uh, nope. Not believable at all. I would expect that in reality she has been in contact with him before. She is minimizing what actually happened. I believe she confessed because someone at the family gathering saw her and him get too intimate and she wants to spin this as some irresistible one-time thing. Probably her parents noticed her conduct and that she did not stay with them. Instead of the reality which I'm betting involves much contact and an intentional meeting. If you want to reconcile with her, you will need to see all her messages and email. You will need to hold her feet to the fire for full truth.